Hello, everyone. My name is Lori Pru, and I'll be speaking about this project where we explore the experiences of women or people who identified as women as it relates to sexual and reproductive health. This is our complete poster, and you should be able to view this on the conference platform. As many of you know, inflammatory arthritis and psoriasis are each estimated to affect about 1 million people each in Canada. These conditions affect people in the prime of their lives, leaving these patients with a variety of reproductive and, health and sexual health concerns. This was a collaborative project by the Canadian Arthritis Patient Alliance, Canadian Association of Psoriasis Patients, Canadian Psoriasis Network, and the Canadian Spondylitis Association. Together, we co-developed and launched the Women's Sexual and Reproductive Health Survey launched on International Women's Day in 2021 with findings, summarized and a final report that you can view on the website noted on the bottom left-hand side corner of the slide. The participants were asked about their experiences on a range of topics, including sexual health, family planning, parenting, menopause, pain, mental health, and accessing care and treatments, including pain for medications. A total of 439 patients responded to the survey. We analyzed results to provide a national picture and also looked at results by geographic region, age, and identification as a member of a racialized community in LGBTQ2S+. There are a range of findings that are described in the full report, but I'll explain a few of the findings that we hope are relevant to you in your role as a clinician. In terms of sexual health, some key findings are that over 60% of participants felt that they didn't have information about sexual health and the impact on their condition. Only a third had enough information about their condition on their sex life. And less than half felt that healthcare providers provided adequate information about the impact of medications on their ability to conceive. This highlighted some, this highlighted some key information needs when it came to sexual health, such as how to manage the impact of fatigue on one's sex life, advice on how to improve sex drive, and sexual positions that are comfortable for their bodies. In terms of family planning, some key findings are that 63% of participants had to switch medications to ones that were safe for pregnancy or breastfeeding. Less than half received counseling from a doctor about pregnancy risks and medication safety before considering pregnancy. In addition, a number of information needs were identified, such as information about medication safety during pregnancy, noted as quite high at 93%, followed by information about medications during breastfeeding uh, coming in at a second at 84%. They also wanted advice on how to manage the impact of pain during pregnancy or when planning a family. I think our work highlights how additional support is needed for women when it comes to sexual and reproductive health. And we identified a number of recommendations that are noted on this slide. I think we should consider how healthcare professionals can provide evidence-based patient education resources on this important topic. That Rheumatologists and other clinicians should counsel patients about the impact of medications on reproductive health, as well as ensuring that the discussions about sexual and reproductive health be destigmatized and that it forms a routine part of clinical care.